Welcome back, everyone. Well, bit of a sad day. Sad day for Leeds United, really. Another Leeds United player, uh, a legend, even though he hasn't been playing lately. He will go down as a legend for Leeds United. Luke, Bill Ailing has joined Middlesbrough officially on their website. Till the end of the season. His contract finishes then at the end of the season as well. Um, yeah. Joined Leeds United in 2016. From Bristol City. For £500,000. 280 games. Uh, got a send off against Preston. Um, as well. And uh, got the send off in the FA Cup as well. So. Yeah, it was, yeah, it's, it's a it's a sad day, but it was going to happen, wasn't it, you know? Um, so, yeah, he's on loan uh, to the end of the season. Um, he deserves game time. I'm so happy for him, though, that he's got a proper send-off. Um, go and check out um, uh, LeedsUnited.com. They've got a video on there as well and they've got a proper send off for him as well um so he's part of the Buradi Pablo Hernandez now Luke Halen's gonna leave we have left should I say and next is Patrick Bamford gonna leave heavily linked with a five million pound move to Nottingham Forest. That is a surprise one. Um, and as well, is Liam Cooper going to leave? No heavy links at the moment, but he could be another one on the door to leave. If not, he's definitely going to leave at the end of the season. And obviously, Robin Cock is leaving. Um, and then you've got Ailing leaving. And Chris Wells leaving. You've got a lot, a lot of players leaving Leeds United at the moment. And we have to get back up for like right at the moment. Right back is Shackleton and uh, Archie Gray, who doesn't like. Fit in well there at the moment at all. He's just definitely midfield. So we really haven't got any like right backs at all. Um, and obviously drama went ages ago. <laughs> you know, I just don't know what we're going to do like going forward. We need a right, I think a right back's more important than a left back. Um, Furpo's like done a right. Um, I don't think it'll be disaster. If we didn't sign a left back in January, we need to sign a left back in the summer. Because yeah, yeah, that, that's just a uh, definite right back. We've got to sign. I would say permanent deal. Um, I would say Luke Allen was on quite a bit of money. Um, I would like to keep Patrick Bamford. Um, this season. Um, because I think he's he's like going to be sky high with confidence. Um, so yeah, that's going to be like amazing. Get me in against Cardiff, and I, I wouldn't be surprised him scoring goals. He causes poor, you know, problems for like two centre halves. You know, he, he the way he plays, um, and Ampadu just drifts like he's got a great passing range and it just suits his game and I think the Leeds game to ground I think um so I think a lot more players will be leaving Leeds United but yeah obviously played 280 games for Leeds United he was part of the um as you can tell in the thumbnail he was part of the like the um Bielsa era he made you know, £500,000. Luke Halen in his prime was amazing. I think he's, what, 32 now? But when he was, yeah, in that team, when, uh, Pablo Hernandez, when 
he got his chance in the Premier League. He started at Arsenal Youth. I'm so happy for him that he got his chance, um, you know, in the Premier League with Leeds United. Um, but all good things come to an end, as they say. Um, and don't forget, hit that like button. We are on the way, believe it or not, to 900 subscribers, which is unbelievable, which is fantastic. But yeah, he had a great career. Um, and he's just like, probably running out of his legs, but I'm just like so happy he's got a great send off. And uh, be interesting to see. Put it down in the comments who you would like as your replacement for the right back. I would personally, Connor Roberts, get him in him from Burnley. He just plays on the bench at the moment for Burnley and they are in the relegation zone at the moment in the Premier League. Um and he's he's Welsh. So we have so many Welsh players. Um it'll probably link up with like Dan Jones done that right hand side perfectly. They'll know each other from the Wales team. Obviously he's a Wales international so yeah. And we'll we'll have um Rodon who I'd love, love Leeds to get on a permanent deal. I think we will from Spurs because he's not going to get in the Spurs team regularly. And then Ampadu and getting Connor Roberts and Dan James, you know. Got, we've got like the whole Welsh team. Um, and then hopefully on deadline day, we'll get a left back on loan. That is what I'm hoping Um I don't know what's going to happen, whether there will be a number 10. Um, but yeah, Farker kept it this close to his chest. Um, he said in the last press conference, I think, that he he doesn't think Luke Allen was going to leave. But yeah, it's happened. And uh, congratulations to him. And uh, as far as I'm concerned, he's an icon at Leeds United. So yeah, that's my... Uh, latest video for today i'll be bringing out some more i'm going to start bringing some streams onto the channel that's what i want to do as we get closer to like start kicking on now on the like transfer deadline days coming closer we're on the 10th now players are starting to sign um, hopefully we can get a quality player from maybe the Premier League. Um, like we were linked with Carvalho from uh, Liverpool. So we must be looking in that area. So let me know what you think. Do you reckon we'll get a cam and sell Patrick Bamford as he's been linked with Forrest and get in a proper number nine? I don't know. Or what to play that number nine role. It'll be interesting to see. I think there'll be a lot of progression on the transfer front. And uh, till the next time, should Lee and Cooper stay or do you reckon he'll leave in January? Let us know. And uh, I'll see you next time. Peace out. Bye-bye. March on together.